Hi guys, it's your girl Chloe Lear Hair and today I'm coming to you with my September favorites. It is finally, well not finally, but it is October, October 1st to be exact. And I can't believe September went by so fast. So I'm calling my favorites um, Obsession Confession because everybody has favorites, but I want to, you know, do a little play on words and make mine a little different. So that's what I did. So this is now going to be called my Obsession Confession, but it's still my own favorites video. So this is for the month of September. So let's, write, let's get right into the video and start with hair. So the first thing I have for hair is the Mazzani Botanifying Conditioning Shampoo and the Mazzani Moisture Fuse Moisturizing Conditioner. So I've been using these at least once a month because although um, I don't really follow the Curly Girl method, however, most of the things that I use are so free, free but once in a while, at least once a month, I will use... Um, a conditioner and shampoo that have sulfate in it to kind of really deep cleanse my hair and these are super super gentle on my curls like I use this you know maybe like a couple I want to say this week and as you can see my curls like they sprung to life they're lively that and a great haircut thank you Jennifer Rose NYC but um yeah I use these so um if you don't use sulfates my bad bruh but um I do use them at least once a month because they do, um, some of the products I do use have like silicones in them. So to clean out all the gunk from my hair, I do use um, sulfate-free conditioner and shampoo. And you know, my hair tends to like them. I don't know if you guys are um, curly girls, if you follow the curly girl method or you don't use sulfates. But that is the one probably conditioner and shampoo that I do use that have um, sulfates in them. Next, I have some samples that I received um, from Camille Rose Naturals. I went to an event. Um, this month and I got three samples. So the first one was the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rips. And that's a sample of that. The second one was the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. That's what this looks like. And then the last one is the Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. So I did use all three of these products. As you can see, they're all torn open. Um, I will have a review on these coming up soon. I don't have it in my hair right now. But I will say I did appreciate, you know, um, the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse was really, really nice. My, um, it didn't strip my hair. And I was able to detangle and comb through my curls while the shampoo was in there. So that's great. The Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard smells amazing. Um, This one does smell really good, too. Um, as well as the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. My hair was, um, my curls were really, really soft and moisturized after I took this out. And then last, the Aloe Whip Butter Gel. I like my curls to have a bit more hold. Like, say for instance, like you see how curly my hair is here. It gives me definition, but not as much definition as it it is here. So I do appreciate this for when I just want to wear like a simple curly fro. But if I don't, if you don't really, really define curls, then I wouldn't suggest this. But it did keep my hair moisturized and my hair was soft. But like I said, I will have a full review coming soon. So stay tuned for that. That's all I have for hair. Um, next, we're going to do makeup because I have tons for skincare. So for makeup, I have three products. Um, one I got, two I got in my Sephora play box. So the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel. I do have these on my brows today. And what I like about this is kind of sets your brows in place. Um, not that you really need it with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And also, it kind of plays double duty because you can use this to kind of line your um, lashes. This is what it looks like. Really cute, spoolie, and it's clear. So if you don't want to wear mascara, you can use, use this to kind of like make your lashes kind of pop, which I really did like. So this double duty, it worked really, really good, and I do like it. Next, you have the Sephora Collection um, Rogue Brilliant Rose Shine. Um, it's a lipstick, and it's called In This In Love Spell. So this is the really, really cute packaging that it has on it for Sephora. And I'm going to swatch it for you on the back of my hand. So this is what it looks like. If you watch my Sephora Play video, um, you will see. So this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And I like that you can use this as a lipstick or a lip stain. So say, for instance, you don't want to use a full-on lipstick. You can just, like, dot it, like, in the center of your lips, like I have here. Um, I have a liquid lipstick and, like, you know, a, a lipstick on in the middle. So it, it is a really, really pretty color, and I think it's like a universal, universally flattering color for everybody. And then the last lipstick I have, it is a Sakura lipstick by H&M, and this is what it looks like. So this is the packaging and the color dot is on the back, and I'm going to swatch this also. This is like a, a deeper pink, so you can see this is a lot deeper pink, and I do have this on on top of a uh, liquid lip lipstick that I'm wearing right now. Kind of, you know, downplay the liquid lipstick, but then make it a little ombre. So these are the two lipsticks that I have for my makeup, but that's it for makeup, guys. Let's get on to skincare. So I have tons for skincare, so please bear with me because this may get a little lengthy. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
So the first thing I'm going to share is um, deodorant. So I'm trying to go a more natural route when it comes to deodorant. So a lot of the skincare products that I'm using are going to be a bit more natural. So the first thing I have up is the Toms of Maine Natural 24-Hour um, Odor Protection Long Lasting Deodorant. And this is a natural powder. I've been using this for, I want to say, the time of September, and I'm in love. Um, it doesn't have aluminum in it. It has um, zinc in it instead, which really, really works, um, especially for me as a merchandiser, building, you know, window display displays and it's on a window and there's the mannequins like I can get really sweaty really fast and this Diona has helped with that. And the next year I have is the Nubian Heritage Indian Hip and um, Haitian Vetiver with neem oil 24 hour natural deodorant. And this is what this one looks like. It's really, really dope. Um, it's And they both smell amazing. Um, if you're into smells like I am, <laughs> they smell absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. So these are the two deodorants that I'm in love with for skincare. And this is skincare because guess what? Your underarms are part of your skin. Next up, we have um, this soap I've been using, and I got this at a, um, at a, in a goodie bag for a hair event I went to, and it's Tender Organics Bunder, Buttermilk Calendula Cleansing Bar. And it has um, buttermilk and a refreshing clean set of lemongrass essential oil, which is really, really strong in the bar. So this is what the actual box looks like, and I'm going to show you the bar also. So the bar is in my little soap dish because I had to bathe, right? We all gotta wash. So this is what the bar kind of looks like. If you can see like how textured it is, I'm not gonna take it out because it's a little wet and I don't wanna make a mess, but it's very textured and you, it does have a very strong scent of lemon. So if you're not into lemon, I wouldn't suggest you using that bar, but my skin is in love with the bar. Like it, my skin feels amazing with it. It cleanses my skin, it doesn't strip it, it doesn't leave like a film like some soaps do. Like I used to use, what was that? Zest. And zest is like the worst. Like it leaves a film and I feel like it leaves the dirt on your skin. Like it doesn't rinse away clean. But this bar, totally in love, totally works. And it's the bomb. So next up, I have something else from my Sephora Play Box. Sephora Play came through with a W this um, month. So I have the Ule Henriksen Sheer Transformation on Facial Cream. And this is what it looks like. I got this in it as a sample. And my skin loves this cream. I've been using it at night. Um, and I'll probably buy the full size of this once this one runs out. Because it's amazing. My skin feels amazing when I use it. Um... And it, I have combination skin, so when I wake up, my skin is not oily. It's hydrated, and it feels really, really good. Like, amazing. My skin feels amazing. So my skin does love this. So if you're into skincare and facial cream, especially with the winter coming up, I would highly recommend this. Next up, you have the Mario Badescu Skincare Special Mask for Oily Skin. So I got this as a sample at a, at a hair event I went to. And this one, it doesn't have like a really strong pink um, smell, but it is pink on the inside because of the calamine lotion. And I use this as kind of like a spot treatment and sometimes it's all over facial mask. When my skin's being a brat, I'll do like a spot treatment on the, um, the really bad spots where my skin is breaking out, which is usually around that time of the month. But this mask is amazing, 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 amazing. Especially if you have oily or combination skin, like using this mask like maybe one to two times a week will save your skin's life. Next up, we have... The Biore No Strip. I just used this yesterday, right? So I loved how um, easy this was. And I love that it literally rips, you know, the the gunk out of your nose. Like when you take it off your nose, you can see like all the like the blackheads and stuff like that. And then your nose is so much smoother. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Like, you know, maybe once a week. And it's something some you could just put it on. Like you can be cooking or cleaning and stuff like that. You forget it's on. You know, pull it off and then follow up with your toner and then like your facial simmers and things of that nature. So great, great, great and amazing. Um, I have two more things. So the next thing I have is also a sample. You can see a sample, but I have to tell you guys, it's the Tatcha Luminous Firming Serum. And this stuff is amazing. It has gold flecks in it, which you guys may or may not be able to see. I doubt it, but um, this is what it looks like. This in combination with the Ule Henriksen, gold mine. Gold mine for my skin. Like my skin loves it. It, it is amazeballs. And when I finish this sample, oh, trust, she's going to go get the full size. Full size. It is pricey. I will say that. So if you have some, if you guys have any suggestions on a firming serum that works just as good as that, it's not expensive, please let me know. If not, I'll be going to spend my coins on that one like ASAP. But my skin loves it. And I've only been using it for a couple of days. And my skin is like in love with it. So it had to come into my favorites video. That's how good it was. And then lastly, I have the Prescribed for Life Cold Coconut. Um, 
thing. So this is what this is. And what I like about this is that you can use it. I use it for skincare. Um, I use this to make like masks and I use this also to brush my teeth. So you can come up, combine this with apple cider vinegar or I'll combine this with my favorite cleanser when I need to give my skin a deep cleanse and wash it all, um, use it on my face. So it is amazing. It comes in like a powder form. Um, and I have some in like in my little container here. If you can see like this is the powder. This is what it looks like. Um, it is very messy. I will say that. So I would suggest using like a little spatula that you can get with like some type of mask sets to um, distribute it when you want to distribute it because it gets very messy, very fat, and it is really black. That's all I have for um, skincare, and that's what I have for my September favorites. Um, let me know what you think of my September favorites um, for the month of September. And thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Chloe Lear. Bye.